So I haven't made a video in a while, mostly because <clears throat> nothing's going on. Um, I have a video in the works to uh, annotate all the changes I'm making to my bike for the season this year. But one of the things that I decided to do was to get a new toy hauler. Um, I now have two. <laughs> I have a work and play, a Forest River work and play, and now I have a uh, Jayco Octane Superlight 222. Um, one of the main reasons I did this is <clears throat> the uh, that thing is just too big to, for a quad. It's for going to the racetrack when I race cars. It's too much for a quad. I thought it was going to pull double duty, but it's just too much. And if anybody from GNC ever watches any of my videos, which I doubt, but guys, I love you, but like mark your races better. Like if I'm like a lot of these races are in Podunk. And unless you've been there before, you don't know how to get there. And trying to t turn that thing around, or anybody who has anything over like 28 feet, turning around is tough. Plus, this thing's like 85 or 8,800 pounds, like without any cargo in it. So it's like pulling a freight train behind you. It tows just fine, but I was getting between six and eight miles per gallon. It was killing me. And anybody who has decent credit, these things cost like $180 a month. So it, it's like having two is not like I'm, I'm balling out of control, but I'm gonna make this video because it's difficult to find a toy hauler that, that checks a lot of boxes. And a lot of these RV guys on the internet, they go over these, these things and they don't, they don't tell it from a perspective of someone who's actually gonna use it. I, I think they're mostly used to selling it to older people and I know that's like a stereotype for RVs and, and toy haulers but I haven't used this thing to at a race yet but I've been transferring the stuff from that one to this one and I'll go over the positives and negatives so far the positives is, is this thing behind this truck you can't even tell it's there I think it's 5400 pounds but it tows amazingly and it turns nicely. Those those two wheels in the back, they don't bind up. So I'm gonna go over this. I'm, I know that there's like a ton of Jayco Octane 222 um, videos out there <coughs> that the, the the like the dealership talks about, but I'm gonna do it from like a guy who races ATVs. So and I'm gonna contrast it against this one. So these are both quality quality at least from my from my short experience with them rvs or toy haulers this one even though it's much like way cheaper it man is it nice and you know, i'll show you in, in a minute but anyway so um it's got an electric electric up and down jack it's got a um, little led light for when you're trying to hook it up it also has a little led light here and it's bright can't tell on the video because it's daytime out and these new um, Harbor Freight super quiet um, generators fit inside this tray here so I'm charging the battery on that one because it's dead and I'm running this thing off uh, this thing sorry <laughs> so this thing comes with a, um, a, a poop hose storage thing but my poop hose doesn't fit inside here it's just too big it's just too small so uh i'm probably gonna throw some beer cans in there or something um so this thing right here this storage you got a good amount of storage in here and it goes all the way back but what they don't tell you in these videos is is that up there that's a trap door so underneath the little bed that's on top of this, you can open it. And I'll talk about that more in a second. You got your access to um, your battery. Your battery's in here. You got one, one battery. This thing is for the hot and cold water. I don't know. I don't touch it. I don't know what I'm doing with it. I don't know what that does either. Um, here's your, um, your power is like connected. So you can't like take that line out so um you're you're beat 
Well, on my other one, you can kind of unscrew it and screw it. This one, you can't. You got your city water connection. Your, uh, um, what's this for? Oh, this is for your water fill. And then uh, this thing is to wash out your black tank. You got an outside shower, which is clutch. Um, you got a ladder that goes to the roof. I, I had to ask the dude why I, this is here. I mean, you can't put anything really up there, I guess. But uh, they say once a year to check the uh, check the seals around the RV, which sort of frightens me. You got a yellow outside light, which okay, and that thing is so it doesn't smell like gasoline in there if you have race gas and stuff. Um, evidently, the RV guys like to talk about how these are rounded on the edge. I don't could give two shits. It's got a nice bed liner on the door. The door capacity is 2,500 pounds. I looked it up, so you're good with a, um, a razor. It will store a four-door razor. I saw it. I saw a dude who has it. It's got the Happy Jack set up with the, with the top bed and the two, um, what do you call it? The two little bench seats. I don't understand why they did this. I'm just gonna take them bed seats out. I mean, I guess if you have kids or something like that, it's decent. But um, it's the, the the way like they have this laid out is a little strange. I, I don't I don't get it. But then again, I haven't really used it yet. But I, you know, we'll see. Well, I'm gonna go around the outside of this thing first, and then um, there's another vent. So again, it doesn't smell like gasoline. The awning goes the full size of this of this thing. It's got that antenna up there, which all that's gonna do is get knocked off one day. It's got outside speakers, which are meh. Um, and then it has an outdoor plug. Um, I got this from the Keystone Mega Center in PA. I had to um, drive a couple hours out. They're, they're, they're amazing. Ask for Jason. Uh, he's a military vet and the dude's cool as shit. <coughs> um, on the inside, again, you know, there's what your vents look like on the outside. I'm sure anybody with familiar with a toy hauler knows this stuff. Uh, there's your bed. Your bed's up there. They go up and down. And these things slide down like that. So if you, you want to keep these benches in here and you want to bring a razor in, um, it, it'll, it'll work. Uh, these little LED lights are really bright. I'm not sure that the, the video is doing them any sort of justice. There are nice nice things about this toy hauler is, is that they got plugs everywhere. Um, more lights on the side, more plugs. It's got this seat right here, which is anchored into the wall, but it slides up flat up against the wall. Um, you got some storage in here. So, and then uh, more lights. And then more lights. You have two um, of these, like, hatches for light um, when you when you open and close them they really make a difference now in here don't my, one of my complaints about the lights is that there's not enough light in the bathroom when you open and close this thing then you get some light but otherwise it's a little bit dark in there they need another light or I'll just put another light in I, I you know one of them sticky LED lights so my first complaint about this thing is is that there's no there's no place to put your gear as far as like your riding stuff there's i don't think these things are going to fit a helmet so i'm going to have to put like helmet hooks over here it's not a big deal there are a couple bucks on amazon but there's no closet right i thought i was going to turn this thing into a closet but you're gonna i'm gonna have to either cut that out or whatever and i'm not trying to avoid my warranty i got a five-year warranty on this thing so there's no place for a helmet which i don't understand it's a toy hauler you know why don't you have a place for your to your a helmet and you know it's toy hauler people seriously <clears throat> and then here's your uh here's all your um awning up and down bed up and down bed activation the lights on this thing on the outside are amazing the led lights are like they're like almost like cree lights they blind you there's plenty of light that gets into this thing it's really really nice it feels open the floor has a nice quality to it 
The carpeting on these things, which they always usually screw up, are good. The the uh, plugs are <laughs> level, you know. Um, the stainless steel looks pretty nice, even up close. You have uh, what I don't even know. I don't even know about this, but you got some like. 70s mood lighting, which is kind of sweet. You got a convection oven, and you got a, a massive amount of storage up here for like your dishes and stuff. But again, like it's gonna it's gonna slide around, you know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not used to riding around on these things. And then you got uh, you got some storage up here. Like you need a step stool. I'm six one, and I still can't get to that thing. And then. Uh, you got your refrigerator. Um, it's nor cold, which I guess is like a big deal. Um, so here's my next complaint about this. Like, why is this? Like, how am I supposed to watch this? Right. So here's my seat. Right. And then here, like, here's my viewing angle. Like, this is how far back I gotta lean to watch the TV. Like, who thought of this? Now, I guess you could bring in one of them Euro chairs and sit here and watch it. Or I guess you could watch it off of this bed. But, like, when, I, when I'm parked and I'm barbecuing and stuff like that, I don't want people sitting on my bed, you know? Anyway, so Jayco fixed that. You got your thermostat. And then, again, the bathroom. Um, I'm fat, and I got plenty of room to sit on that. Um, it actually comes... With a toilet paper holder. Imagine that. A towel rack. Again. Sweet. Um, big enough for a dude. I'm not sure if this would serve a female. If you think that sex is too big, get over it. Um, the GFE thingy. Uh, sink's very nice. I mean, everything in this everything in this toy hauler is nice. Like, these, these doors, like, they're nice. And these, these are like... These are in there. That thing ain't going anywhere. Which is not the same for every toy hauler I've been in. So, uh, big shower. Um, my fat ass can sit in there just fine. Um, it's raised a little bit. So here's the strangest thing. I, I mean, here's the strangest thing about this toy hauler. <clears throat> from my perspective. And again, I'm not complaining. I love this thing. I can't wait to use it. But... This is perfect for, like, if if you're really using your toy hauler, um, this place would be perfect for, like, a, a, like a toolbox. So, to me, this is a little bit of wasted space, because I already have, I already have a bed right there. And I think, I think this is where Forest River beats Jayco as far as floor plans are concerned, because usually their toilets are up front, flush, and then you have plenty of other room, but... So, when you lift this up, this is what I was talking about in the beginning of the video. You can see the daylight coming through here. This trap door opens up to reveal um, that side door on the side. And then, there's another storage container right here, but there's like... I guess that's, your, that's one of your water tanks or your water heater. And then right here, there's no, there's no access, but there's, there's nothing under there, which is strange. So, um, they have, there's that, there's a heater front that comes from here, the heater hose comes under, and then shoots out here. So, but, like, it would be nice if this wasn't here. Like, if they took the battery box, which is, like, right there, and then stacked it here, and then gave you a closet or something. I might actually just do this on my own, and then make a video about it, but I ain't exactly handy with some, with, <laughs> as a carpenter. You got plenty of hookups. This is really nice. And again, a four-door razor can fit in this thing. Um, I again, I saw it at the um, at the dealership. Um, the quality of everything in here is amazing. It's it's actually on par or better than the work and play. Um, you have uh, the charging station up here for your uh, your tablets. I think it's. I think it says somewhere that it's, uh, what is it, 2, 2.1 amps, there it is. Um, I have a Note 8 with the USB-C, and it charges it really fast. And here's all your outlets. The, it's got, I don't, I don't know, 
Furion, whoever owns Furion, that that dude must have naked pictures of someone's wife. Because these things come in every RV. Like, I, um, the, the this is really nice. It's easy to use. The speakers are meh. And by meh, I mean like 1991 OEM speakers. So, um, I wish, uh, you know, if anybody watches my videos and you're in like the design aspect of designing toy haulers like this thing's beautiful but there's some functionality aspects that need to be put in for somebody who rides an atv you know like how about a toolbox or something to hold a helmet you know like these things come with a i don't have it on my option but some of these things come with like a gasoline um distribution like a little gas tank um so anyway, I guess it's, I don't want to sound negative, but this thing is, it was priced right. It, I've been spending all afternoon in it getting ready for GNCC at the end of February. Um, but, uh, I just wanted to, like, if anybody's like expecting to just jump on one of these things and then go, there's some stuff you need to do to make it your own. Um, and then I, if anyone's interested in it, leave a comment and then I'll show you as I, um, as I make this thing more utilitarian for riding an ATV. Anyway, you guys have been great. I got a bunch of subscribers now, and um, I, mostly everyone's been positive. So uh, if you have any questions or concerns or you want to see something or you got it or anything, let me know, and I'll try to get it, make the video for you. Um, I got a little girl, and I'm busy. You know, I got to kind of stressful job but i'll do the best i can um and if anybody wants to see like a vlog about going to gncc or something like that because i plan on doing all of them and four by four c this year um let me know and uh I'll, I'll, I'll make it it doesn't um i enjoy doing this if it helps anybody especially so um anyway thanks for watching guys and uh everyone be safe and i'll talk to you later